Hi, it's Mike from Music Ministry 101, here with tip number seven of 20 tips in 20 days. Today we're gonna to start talking about how to teach songs, how to teach music. And specifically today, I'd like to show you how to teach harmony at the beginner level. So this technique will work with middle school students, it'll work with amateur singers, it'll work with beginning high school students, you name it. So here's how to teach harmony. We'll start with two-part harmony. So I've got Amazing Grace here, and let's just assume that you wanna teach the alto part so that you can have an alto part singing along with the melody, the soprano part. Step number one is to teach each part separately. So you would have to teach this. Except for everyone should already know that. So let's skip that and teach the alto part. So you could have them listen to a phrase first. Then have them sing it. Words are fine right now since the words are so common. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. You want to have them learn that well, so maybe do it two or three times. It's a pretty simple part, let's be honest. Then you could have the sopranos hum their part and the altos sing their part. So you would play the pitches from low to high, alto, soprano, and then count them off where the sopranos are gonna be just humming softly and the altos are gonna be holding their own parts. Okay, here we go, one, two. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. So that's the basic idea. Then you could have them switch where the altos were humming and the sopranos were singing the melody and you would do the same thing. Now with, a, uh, with an elementary or a middle school group, this is gonna be very hard for them, especially if they haven't done it before. So you can tell them a couple things. First of all is tell them to stick with their own part and don't even really listen to the other part at all. They should stick together and just focus on singing the notes that they have without listening so much to the other group. See, it's hard for them to hear something different and sing their own part at the same time. A lot of amateur singers sing whatever the person next to them is singing if they don't have much experience at all. So you have to build that independence within them slowly. Now with the, uh, I wouldn't do this with adults, but with the kiddos, I had them actually stand um, you know, 40 feet apart and sing their two parts. And then we took 10 steps closer and they sang it again. And then we kept going closer until they felt comfortable staying on their own part. Now, let's say you wanted to also teach the tenor parts here. Well, first thing would be to have the tenors learn it separately. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Then you could pair two parts together, like let's say the tenors and the sopranos at the same time. Play their pitches and count them. One, two. If that goes well, maybe do the tenors and the altos together. Pitches, one and two. Then put everything together at the same time. So the reason I'm delving into this, because it may seem basic to some of you, but for others who haven't taught harmony before, you wanna make it as step by step as possible because if you skip steps, chances are they're gonna get confused if they don't have too much experience. So if this process seems tedious, well, it kind of is, but you can actually skip steps later on in the future. And for instance, with my current choir, I can ask them to listen to the harmony We might go through the entire song 
and then I'll have them sight read it slowly, and generally they can do pretty well. But the tip still stands for choirs that don't have much experience with this, go step by step, take it slow, and you can always go backwards if they need extra help. If you are someone that regularly works with amateur singers, and you've been enjoying these tips, please click on the link in the description below to check out my Choir Essentials training program. It is an online video training program that will help you to hone your skills as a choir director, whether you need to recruit more members, get them to sound professional, in tune, with a clear and free tone, or if you need help with working with difficult members or keeping your members happy in general, this program is for you. So I encourage you to click the link in the description below and check it out. And if you found this particular tip to be useful, I'd love to know that you're here and that I should keep producing this content for you. So please smash the like button below as well. If you'd like to build your choir or start one, if you'd like to get your choir sounding professional with perfect harmony, rhythm, and vocal blend, if you'd like to motivate your choir to learn new songs and harmonies without any hassle, I'd like to invite you to try my Choir Essentials training program today. Hi, my name is Michael Carney from Music Ministry 101. Over the past 15 years, I've been able to grow and improve several choir programs in churches and in schools, from just a few members to hundreds more. And during that time, I've had the honor of leading choirs of all ages and sizes into successful performances. As I've become more successful with choir directing, a lot of people started to ask me for tips and advice that they could use to create more success for themselves. I've created a training program that contains the most important things I've learned about growing a choir, getting them to sound great, and running a successful choir program. And you can watch them all now in my Choir Essentials training program. You'll learn everything from my step-by-step -step approach to recruiting adult and youth choir members to the best ways to teach harmony without having pushback from your singers, and the quickest and best ways to improve your choir sound, whether it be an issue of vocal blend, pitch, or rhythm. My ideas and methods have impacted people around the world, and I know I can help you to build the successful choir that you've always wanted to achieve. Just visit me at musicministry101.com and try my Choir Essentials training program today. It is risk-free for 30 days and will guarantee that you will massively improve your choir program. Thanks for checking out my channel.